So today I want to talk about hot swap keyboards, but more importantly, budget hot swap keyboards. So number one, why would you want a hot swap keyboard? Well, to try a variety of switches here. Which ones do you get? You get a tactile, you get a clicky, you get a silent, you get a speed, you get a linear. You don't know. There's so many different ones you can really sample with different ones and try it out. And that's really going to change your experience with that keyboard. But again, we're going to take a look at five awesome budget hot swap keyboards under a hundred bucks. All right, so the first keyboard we're gonna take a look at here today is the Epo Maker HS85. As you take a look at the keyboard, you can see it's pretty stinking cool, right? Uh, white double shot ABS keycaps, that translucent plastic case is just, wow, it, it is really cool. USB-C on the back, by the way, the cable and the tools I'm gonna be using here are mine. They're not the ones that come with these boards. But anyways, as far as the bottom, pop out feet, couple rubber feet right there. It is a little bit lighter weight. Like when you put it in your hand, you're not really getting anything, you know, I mean budget. It feels budget, it really does. It, it is a little bit lighter, but it looks cool and it's packing a lot. Again, the double shot ABS keycaps. I mean, how about this RGB? As you see, you got the underneath here on the case and then up top there, and you can adjust all that as well. You come over here to function, number one, your brightness where you can turn it down or all the way up. Come over here, a couple of different effects. As you see right there, we got our effects on the top that you can cycle through right on the keyboard, no software needed. And then you can also adjust, as you see over here with end, you can see the frame changing colors. How cool is that? So you got the frame doing its thing right there. And then the top you can have doing its thing. That is so cool with this keyboard. Again, it's just, it's a gorgeous keyboard. It really is. But as far as it being hot swap, let me go on and unplug it here. By the way, it is, like I stated, USB-C down there. So let's go and pop this off and get our B so we can get to our actual switch. Um, by the way, we have Gatoron, 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 whatever. Yellow switches right here. I believe you can get it in a variety of Gatoron switches. Golly, I can't get under there. There we go. So as you see, it is five pin PCB. They come with three pin switches, the Gaterons here. But when you look close on this, if we can get a good shot, there you go, you can see that a bit better. So the LED, as you see, you got your sockets, bam, the LED is raised. So what you're gonna have to make sure to do with this one, talking about it being hot swap, you're gonna just have to make sure that you get the switches with the open housing right down there for the LED to slip in. Now, the majority of the ones I have, have that right there. But just again, just verify that you don't get any old switch out there. If that's closed in, it is not gonna fit on this. So make sure it has a little opening for the LED. So the EpoMaker HS84 right here, it's such a cool board. It really is. You're talking 50 bucks, guys. Like, is it the best out of this list? Nah, that's why it's at the bottom of this list. But still, coming in at 50 bucks, I mean, it's stinking awesome. All right, so the next keyboard on our list is the Miko Push or Meko Push, however you say that. Now, you can get this keyboard in a bare bones without switches or caps for 60 bucks. But as we have it right here with some switches in caps, it's gonna run you right around 80 bucks. You can choose from Cherry Switches, uh, Gateron, and I believe Kales as well. And they adjust per switch right there, like Cherry Switches will cost a little bit more. But anyways, talking about this board right here, double shot ABS keycaps, plastic body, decent weight to it, Not, nothing extreme or anything, but decent. Um, no flex, as you see, you have like that like 65% layout, but an extra row over here with some other shortcuts. So pretty cool, you have all your shortcuts. The thing that's missing of this compared to like a TKL board is your function row up there. But really cool, as you see, everything's printed right on the board here, and you control your RGB up or down, and then some different effects. Flashes when you get to the top, that one. But as you can see, different effects right there. Now, I do have my lights on around the room, so you can see the RGB is not like super bright, especially compared to the one we just looked at, but you do have it. And of course, if your lights are dimmer, the RGB will look better. Now, another really cool thing about the RGB on this board, as you're seeing right here on the side, that RGB is uh, lit up. And you can also adjust that with the function and then your insert up here. 
and you can adjust that RGB to what you want as well to match your color, turn it off, go into a rainbow effect or whatever. Really cool. So you got the top RGB and then again, that side RGB. Okay, so let's go on and get into the keyboard here. We'll pop off a couple of keys. On mine, I have cherry browns, by the way. So let's go on and get in there. So as you can see, this PCB is five pin, if we can see it right there. It does have the recessed LED. So again, any switch is gonna fit on that. And you have that metal plate right under there as well. So the Meko or Miko Push coming in at 80 bucks as we have right here, I think it's packing a pretty good deal. I love the layout. It's not just a 60%, you know, you got your functions, your arrows and everything, pretty solid build. You got the Bluetooth if that's into your thing, you know, double shot ABS keycap, some pretty nice RGB, not the brightest, but definitely crisp. Five pin PCB, that's gonna fit any switch. 80 bucks, I like what we have here. Next keyboard on our list is the Keymove Snow Fox. I stink and love this keyboard. I loved it when I first reviewed it, and still to this day, I absolutely love it. Yes, it does only come in the 60% form factor right here, but it's really packing a lot. As you see on the back, you have Windows and Mac mode on and off, because there's Bluetooth on this keyboard, and that is so cool. Me being a Mac user, or if you're using a laptop or something, you got multiple options to use. You're almost getting two keyboards in one, right? Number one, just talking about the features, but also the build. I mean, this thing is solid. Underneath it, you got pop out feet and everything, and they're in there firm, as you can see. You know, it also comes in a black version. I believe it's black and then white right here, but we have the white version here. Really cool are your keycaps. You got your shortcuts since it is a 60% keyboard here. But again, you can control everything as far as your RGB, bam, right on it. And it has very crisp RGB on this keyboard, as you can see. Anyways, let's go on and take out our USB C here and pop off some keycaps and see, now these come with Gateron switches here. And I believe if I'm thinking correctly, the PCB on this guy is a three pin. There we go, let's get that oopsie daisy. So as you can see right here, PCB, three pin. So, and the light is recessed in there. So you're gonna fit the majority of switches. By the way, when I'm saying three pin or uh, something like that, five pin, some switches will come with extra plastic nubs on the side right there. Get yourself some pliers snap them off and they're gonna fit in, again, a three pin PCB if you end up with those. So as you just heard with the sound test of the Snow Fox here, it sounds pretty stinking good. Again, for out of the box, the stabs aren't even that bad. Slap a little extra lube on them, you'll probably be good to go. But again, everything this board's packing, like I stated. Double shot PPT keycaps, the Bluetooth, the Windows, the Mac mode, just by a flick of the button right there. Quality build. I love this key this keyboard at 90 bucks. That's not the regular MSRP, that's the sale price, but it's always at that sale price. And I really like it. The only thing I would say it's downfalling and why it's at the midpoint of this list is because you can only get it in a 60% form factor. So again, if you want a 60%, you're good to go. But again, no other options other than 60%. All right, so our next keyboard is the Keychron K2. But I don't wanna close this just into the K2 here. We all know Keychron made tons of boards with multiple variations. Heck, like the K6 is an awesome one, you know? The C4 or C6, I don't know, they got so stinking many out there. As you can see what we have right here, it's packing everything. And you can get this one for right around 80 bucks. PPT keycaps, again, the metal frame over here. When we look on the side, you got Bluetooth as well. And also that Mac and Windows option. Also USB-C, bottom side, two levels of pop-out feet right here. Now, not the brightest RGB, but again, I do have the PBT keycaps. If you get ABS keycaps, it'll shine through a little bit more. Heck, you probably can't even see it with my lights on here. You can see it a little bit there, and it's easy to control. You got function, you got all your options right up there, your media controls, your brightness and stuff, and then right over here, function and the light bulb, you can change your effect. Again, you can barely see it, because my lights, you can get it with hot swap or without and save even more money if you know what switch you want. Um, we have Gateron switches and the majority of their boards come with Gateron switches. Looking down there, you got metal plate 
And again, five pin PCB with the recessed LED. So again, just about any switch is gonna fit on this keyboard. So the Keychron K2 or heck any Keychron board, right? Whether again, you're looking for hot swap or not, you can get these keyboards ranging from around 50 bucks all the way to a hundred suiting what you want. That's really cool. I love that. Again, talking to K2 we have here, which is right around 70, 80 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with this great gaming keyboard, great work keyboard, total win. All right, so coming in at number one, we have the Glorious G MMK. I love these keyboards. And as you can see, I have the TKO version and the 60% compact version. And it's real cool. You can also get a full size. And the prices are the same across all of them, which is could be good or bad to me. It's kind of weird. Like, why wouldn't the 60% be a little bit cheaper than the TKL and the TKL cheaper than the full size, whatever. Uh, but again, same price across the board. And like I said, you can get from a full size to a compact here. Bare bones starting at 60 bucks. No caps or switches. As you see, that's what I did right here. I have the, uh, who makes these? G-Skill keycaps. White with the clear right on the side. How stinking cool are those keycaps on the white eyes right here? I Love it, so cool. Again, the RGB is really crisp on us and you can control it, all the RGB right on, if I press the right button, control all your RGB right on the keyboard here. Now coming over to the 60%, I also like this one. The one thing I don't like about it, nitpicky, personal preference, but is how it's black right here. And then you have that little chrome line along the edge. I don't know, it just drives me a little crazy. Both of them do have the floating key design, as you can see here. And both of them are hot swap, like we said. So let's go and pop that off. Get our space bar off here. Get that one off so we can get to our actual cap or our key. Pop it out. And we see we have Kale Silvers in these. And both of these keyboards are three pin PCB with the recessed LED. But again, like I stated, if you got a five pin switch, you can simply snap off those two plastic feet on the side and it'll fit in any board. But I love these. They, 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 Switches fit really solid in these. They don't really move around much or anything. Okay, so the sound test for the GMMK Pro, I'm gonna do the white ice and the compact over here, the black one, just to give you a kind of comparison of the, the um, caps, because caps will make a big difference in your sound. Both of them, Kale Silvers. So starting with the white ice TKL. So just kind of keep that sound in your mind right there. It sounds a little bit thick, right? Really nice sound. Good stabs as well, you know? That one's not even pressed down. Very solid. Coming over to the compact here. We have HK Gaming uh, pudding keycaps, and these are a little bit thinner than these, so you're gonna hear a difference. So you hear that right there? Clear as day, and that's not really board to board, that's 100% keycaps, because these keycaps are a bit thicker over here on the uh, TKL, and then these pudding ones are a lot thinner. So again, the sound will vary between keycaps you get, but we have Kale Speed Silvers on this, and I just love this board. It's quality, it feels quality, it's lofty, pop out feet, it just feels really good, everything can be controlled right on the keyboard, even the 60%. Like this guy is just beefy right here. Detachable USB-C, pop out feet. Again, they feel really quality. Getting these guys out of the box, they shocked me, right? When I got these, I bought mine as bare bones, by the way, at the $60. And just getting them out of the box, like, wow, I didn't expect it to be that solid at 60 bucks. All right, so that's our roundup of best budget hot swap keyboards under 100 bucks. Which one would you pick out of all of them right here? I really wanna hear, or do you have a better recommendation at that price range? Now be easy when you recommend it. I know a lot of people go out there with these SKs and GK things, you know, with their hot swap optical switches. Me personally, I'm not an optical switch fan unless it's like one of the higher end ones. Some of the Razer ones, definitely the Corsair ones and stuff. But again, when you get into those other cheaper optical switches, they just feel very, plasticky all these are mechanical so you can dab with a lot of different switches but all in all i think we've got a lot of wins here a lot of price variations 
features and functions vary now here. Hopefully you were able to pick one out of here if you're looking for a new keyboard or a new budget hot swap keyboard. If you got any more questions, ask right down in the comments. Always glad to top shop. But all in all, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I was able to help you out. If I was, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.